Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is another pregnancy update. I have not done one of these in about three weeks. I try to spread them out so that they're not super short and so that I can give you guys a lot of information each time because I feel like doing one every single week I wouldn't have that much to share. So I like to spread them out a little bit. So this update is going to be from 22 to 24 weeks. I will be 25 weeks to the day that you guys are seeing this. And yeah, we're just going to jump right into it. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you're not already so you can follow along the rest of my pregnancy journey and all of the pregnancy videos that I have coming up on my channel. The first thing I'm going to talk about today is my doctor's appointment. I did have my 24 week doctor's appointment recently and it was a really short appointment. I just went in and talked to my doctor a little bit. She asked if I had any questions, if I had any concerns about anything, which I did not. So she measured the size of my uterus and said that everything looks great. My, my belly is growing exactly how it should be. And baby was moving a lot whenever she checked her heart rate. She kept kicking and moving around. And so she is very, very active these days. Her heart rate was in the 150s, which is pretty much what it's been since I got pregnant. And every time we've got it checked, it's been in the 150s. The doctor said that's really good and that's a good heart rate for her to have, I guess. So there were no concerns there. The other thing my doctor talked to me about was doing the glucose test which I did with my son and I failed it the first time. I could not hold it down and I ended up throwing it up and having to go back and retake three, the three hour glucose test, which was just as horrible. I, I just like hated it. And so I'm not looking forward to doing that again. Hopefully this time I can only do the one hour test. Hopefully I make it and I can get it done. But I do have to do that, she said, between 26 and 27 weeks. So I'm going to go probably in about a week or a week and a half to get that done. And then also when I go for that, they're going to have me do a urine test just to check, make sure I don't have any like UTIs or I think they said they're going to check my iron with that as well. I could be totally wrong, but she did say something about checking my iron and making sure that that was good as well. So I will go to the labs and do that in about a week and a half. And then I don't go back for my next appointment until the end of August. I think it's like the 20th or 21st that I go back for my next appointment, which I will be 27 weeks when I go for that appointment. The only other thing we really talked about at my appointment was she said it was time for me to go and register at labor and delivery. So I just need to go there and just hand them this piece of paper she gave me and they will get me all registered. And then when I do go into labor, they already have all my information and I can just walk in and have my baby. And it is crazy to think about that it is already time to do stuff like that. I feel like it is still so far away until she is here, but it really is only about 15 weeks or sooner. She could come sooner than my son did. He went over his due date. Hopefully she does not do that because that was a struggle. It is just crazy to think that we are already getting so close to meeting her and I'm so excited. Moving on to some of the symptoms that I've been having. One symptom that I have been having pretty much my whole pregnancy, I don't think I've ever mentioned it on here, but since this is a pregnancy update, I'm gonna be real with y'all. I have had really bad constipation. I know that is a pregnancy symptom that a lot of women have. I didn't have it with my first pregnancy, but I've definitely had it with this one, along with my back hurting, which I know I've talked about in my previous ones. Back aches are a big symptom for me this pregnancy as well, which I didn't have that with my son until towards the end of pregnancy, but it definitely started way earlier this time around. Another symptom that has recently started, probably the past maybe two to three weeks, is my Braxton Hicks. I have started having Braxton Hicks contractions. I don't remember them starting this soon with my son. Maybe they did, and I just can't remember, but they've already started probably around 22 weeks is when I started to get them. And I'll usually just have like maybe one or two a day, sometimes not even that often, but they have started. It makes me really excited for labor. Labor is a struggle and my last labor was incredibly long. If you haven't seen my labor and delivery story, I'll put it in the cards here for you to check out, but I am super excited for labor again. I cannot wait, but the Braxton Hicks are real and they have started. So I've recently noticed that I have started gaining weight a lot faster but I know that she's growing a lot I can feel her moving and her kicks are getting stronger so I am just gaining more weight I think to this day I've gained about 15 pounds from my pre-pregnancy weight when the doctor weighed me they didn't have any concerns about my weight they didn't say I was like gaining too fast or anything like that so I assume that I'm gaining normally <laughs> most of the weight is just going straight to my belly and it's not kind of all over my body like it was with my son. And I know I'm just gaining more because she is getting so big. I think I touched on this briefly in my last pregnancy update, but the pregnancy hunger has really started. I've noticed so much lately that I just want to constantly eat 
first thing in the morning when I get up, I am hungry and I feel like I never stop eating <laughs> these days. I am just so hungry and I know it's just nourishing her and helping her grow and it's good for her. So there are a couple like healthier option snack items that I have found that I have been loving lately. So I thought I would share them with you guys really quickly. The first one are these Special K protein snack bars. They're fruit and salted nut and they just look like this. And they have like a layer of chocolate on the bottom of them and then all the fruit and nut on the top. And they have 8 grams of protein and it's 150 calories for one bar. But these are so, so good. And I will usually have one of these like mid-morning in between breakfast and lunch. And it fills me up and it keeps me full for a while. So I really, really like these. Another snack that I just found last time we went grocery shopping is this Fisher Tex-Mex Trail Mix. And it's just like this. It's got a ton of different stuff in it. It's got almonds and peanuts, sesame sticks, chili bits, and salsa corn sticks. This is a pretty spicy snack and it satisfies that spicy food craving that I've been having all pregnancy. And I only have to have like a little bit of this. Like one handful of this is plenty for me. And especially with the spiciness to it, like satisfies me so much and it is so good. It's one of my favorite things right now. And I'm sure you could find either of those at your local grocery store. We shop at the commissary, so that's where I found those. And they are super inexpensive. I've also noticed that I have started to drink a lot more water. I have a water cup that I keep with me all day long and I keep it filled pretty much all day long. I still do drink my Coke and I've been drinking some iced coffee that I really like. Along with that, I am constantly drinking water. I just always feel kind of dehydrated and just like I need to drink so much water all the time. But like I said, she is starting to move a lot. I feel her move literally all day long. My husband has been able to feel her kick and see her kicking my belly. So here is my belly this week from the front, the other side. That's about all I have to share with you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below so you don't miss any of my pregnancy updates or pregnancy related videos that I have planned coming up in the future. Let me know if you have any pregnancy related video requests. Leave it down in the description box for me and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!